What you guys got another fix it video here for you. This one is how to fix the system cannot find the file specified. Now this is just one of two fixes because there is another issue that will happen when you get this error message. So let me just show you what the real problem is. You can see here Windows cannot format the volume because the volume is offline. That is the other type of error that you'll get with uh, this error message as well. So there are two error messages for the same problem. So you can see here, this is a flash drive. I try to format the flash drive or delete the volume or anything like that. And you get the system cannot find the file specified. And you also get this one as well, which is the windows cannot format the volume because the volume is offline. You can see it's online here and there is an issue with the flash drive. So you can't do nothing, even change the drive letter or anything like that. It won't let you do anything. And even if I delete the volume, it won't let me do anything with this flash drive. As you can see here, it just gives me the same error message. So let me just show you uh, the last bit here. I'll just try and delete this volume. So it's gone to unallocated space. It won't let me touch this little uh, volume here or this little partition here. I can select a new simple volume and uh, basically create a new partition here as NTFS. And it does let me do that, but it won't let me access the drive and the drive isn't visible on my computer. So that is the problem uh, with this USB flash drive. This is exactly what's going on. So I can't access the drive and it's not visible on the computer. Let me just show you here. It's not showing up on the computer here at all. Even if I refresh, it just doesn't show up. So let me show you how we're going to fix this. We need to download mini tools, partition wizard, the free version and we'll download that from the Minitool website. And we're gonna open this up and install this onto the system. And I'll show you how we can resolve this problem. So I'm gonna click OK here. Now there is a couple of areas here. You can see partition management and data recovery. That one is okay, because that is the program. Remove participate in customer experience improvement program and disk data backup and restore. You can remove the ticks from those because we don't need to install those onto our system. So we're going to go next and next again. Again, we need to remove additional software from here. So it is bundled with other software, which it never used to be. And uh, that is a bit of a pet hate of mine, but you can just remove those ticks and it will solve the problem. So just be careful. If you don't want those on the computer, then just remove the ticks like I've shown you inside here. This will then go ahead and download the mini partition wizard from their website and it will then start to install onto the computer. So let's go ahead and do that. So it just takes a bit of time. And there we go. We can now launch the mini tool partition wizard program. So we're going to click finish here and launch that onto the computer. And then once you've clicked finish, this little box will pop up and we need to click on launch application here. So let's click on launch application. And this is the tool right here. Now it does look a bit daunting, but don't worry, it's pretty straightforward. These are your drives. So if you've got other drives plugged in, other external drives or anything like that, just make sure you're selecting the correct drive before you continue with the process. You can see this is a larger drive, so it's not going to be this one. You can see this is 931 gigabytes. So you definitely don't want to be uh, wiping this drive here. Okay. Uh, what we're looking for is the smaller drive, which is the 59 uh, 0.6 gigabytes version, which is disk free. So make sure you're selecting the correct disk before you continue. So what I'm going to do here is go down to disk free and click on this because this is the drive that we're working on. And uh, you can see here, this is the correct drive. So you've got two areas to this here underneath disk free here. And also to the right, you can click on there as well. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to delete all the partitions on this a particular drive here. So let me go ahead and click delete all partitions and say yes here. So they're all unallocated now. So we've deleted all the partitions. Once we've done that, we need to go up to the top left and click apply and then click yes. And this will then go ahead and remove all of those uh, partitions from that drive. We click OK, right click on here again on the disk part. You can see the unallocated space here now. When I click on the right side of the drive, we can now do a surface test here. And uh, we're just going to quickly see whether there's any sort of read errors 
on this drive or any problems so just let it do a surface test it's just a quick test just to make sure everything is running okay if there was major problems with it it will show up here quickly so I'll just let this go through and this is a 64 gigabyte drive so it shouldn't take too long it's just going over the top of the drive so I'm not looking to do any sort of major deep scanning here just want to do a quick surface test to make sure everything is okay and make sure that there is no red block showing up here if there is then obviously the drive is starting to fail and it's not worth continuing with the fix so I'm just going to quickly let this go ahead and do this here okay so that's now done and no errors have been found so we can close this off and we can continue with our fix so say yes to exit and what I want to do here now is I'm going to right click on here again and create. And now what I need to do is give it a label and I'm going to create a partition here called NTFS and click OK. And once I click OK here, it's going to use the full drive. You can see here now I click apply up the top and click yes. And this will go ahead and get that drive prepared, ready for use and hopefully this will resolve your problem so we're just going to let this go it's going to do a bunch of things here just let it go ahead and finish off and it should hopefully resolve our problem so that's nearly finished now there we go it's just updating the partition information click OK here and we are now finished with our software we can close the software off and take a look and see if the drive is now visible you can see the drive is now populated and it's now visible and we can access the drive okay and if we wanted to put data on there we can actually use the drive now so that's how you can resolve that issue it's very simple and quick and easy to do just need to download the mini tool partition wizard free version and make sure you remove those ticks during the installation process and that way you're not installing any other software which you didn't ask for anyway that's basically about it for this video that is how you can fix the system cannot find file specified my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this one helps you out have a great day bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.